Hey guys, welcome to Tony's How To's. In this video, I will show you how to import Blender into Roblox. So it is actually pretty easy, so let's get started. So the first thing we want to do here is we want to start creating our mesh first that we'll be importing or exporting into our Roblox Studio. So here, just click on Control uh, Shift A to add our mesh here. And we want to add a monkey as an example. Now here, I'll be showing you ways on how you could actually import it. So there's actually two methods on how to import and a few details that you should know uh, when you're actually importing your uh, assets into your Roblox Studio. So here as an example, uh, we want to first add our texture. Because when you add your material here, your materials will not be added into your Roblox Studio. So instead of adding materials, we want to add our texture. So here, the next thing you want to do is you want to go to our texture paint at the top tab here. And the next thing you want to do is you want to start adding our texture. Now in here in the texture slots at the right section of the screen, we want to click on the plus button you see there. And you want to add a base color. So for this example, we want to add a blue monkey. So let's just pl choose blue here and just click on OK. And here, just an example, we want to color the eyes white. So here it is, are the eyes for this one. So let's just quickly color that one. It's not going to be perfect, but just an example. So here, once we added our color here, as you can see right now, this is the blue monkey that has white eyes. So the next thing we want to do is we want to preview this. So let's go back to layout and we want to use the material preview option here. As you can see, it's already now blue and it's now ready to be imported. Now, a few things you should remember here or should know is whenever you actually start importing or exporting your Blender files is you have to enable a few things before you could start basically using those individual objects. So here, just an example, I'm just going to add a new mesh here that's also a monkey. So just move this at the uh, x-axis, just an example. As you can see, the other monkey has color and the other monkey doesn't have anything on it. So let's just click on the file at the top left and we want to choose the export option here. Also in the export section, we have two options on using uh, the two files here, but I actually prefer FBX, but I'll be showing you uh, the difference for this one. So let's just choose object here. And here, what you want to do is you want to basically start editing your settings. So here, if you want to import these two objects into your uh, Blender or uh, into your Roblox Studio, is you want to make sure that the selected only option is actually disabled. So if you make if you enable the section that's selected only, the object that you've selected is the only one going to be exported. But if you do not put anything here, then those two objects will be exported. So I just remove this one for now and just click on export by font object. Now, once you've done that, the next thing that you want to do is you want to go back into your Roblox Studio. So in here, what we want to do next is we want to start adding our 3D objects. So here, let's just click on import 3D. And here, let's go back into our desktop since that's where we downloaded or our, uh, sorry, here, I think it's in Roblox. So in do documents, I mean, in here is the untitled object. Just click on open. And here, it's going to preview the two objects here. And just click on import. So that's the first way of actually importing your objects via using the import 3D under the avatar tab here. So it's gonna, as you can see, this is now the object for my uh, project, which is uh, two monkeys. But as you can see, the other one doesn't have any color to it because we have to do a few things before we can add our colors. And we'll be using the other uh, file format for that one. And as well, uh, we have to add a few things. So here, let's just go back into our Roblox Studio since right now, these two objects are actually separated and we want to import these two files separately. So let's just go back and delete this one and let's go back to uh, Blender. Now here, what we want to do is we want to select this one and we want to go back into Texture Paint. Now what you want to do here is you want to go to Image first and just click on the Save As. 
and you want to save this into a location as the same as the file where you've saved your file itself. So for example, if you're done, uh, saving this into documents, make sure that you save this as well in documents. Just click on the location, just click on save as image. And once you've done that, let's go back into our layout. Make sure you select this one, the, the monkey that has the color on it or your object. Now here, let's go to file. And here we want to go to export again. And we want to use the other one, which is FBX. Now in here, we want to ensure that we click on the limit to selected objects only. And what we want to do, same location as our uh, texture, just click on that location, just click on export FBX. Now let's go back into Roblox Studio. And instead of using the import treaty, we want to use the other way of actually exporting your meshes here. So just click on the workspace here, just click on the plus button. And here just type in mesh. So here, just mesh, click on mesh part. And what you want to do into mesh part is you want to select that. You want to go to properties and you want to look for mesh ID. Now here, just click on the folder icon and here go to the location where you have it and just scroll down a bit and here choose the .fpx file. Just click on open. And here it's going to say your mesh is, are important, is very large. Would you like to resize the mesh? And just click on yes to reduce the size. And here your mesh contains location data. We'd like to uh, give, give, give in a given location. So you could either choose yes or no, but I'm just gonna use yes. So here, right now, I've just successfully imported my mesh. As you can see, the color itself was actually, actually successfully imported. So if you didn't save your texture, it's not gonna have that texture ID here. So make sure that you actually save your texture first in a PNG format that you, so that your colors would actually be imported here. But yeah. So that's how you import your Blender objects or meshes into Roblox and that's about it. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, you could use the link in the description to subscribe. See you in the next video.